All right. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to improve our previously made simple reading process model. And let's see what we'll be doing today. So the scenario outline is like this, that due to some recent quality issues, an inspection station has been set up where an inspector inspects the quality of the drill part. The inspection time is uniformly distributed between one to 1.5 minutes. And based on the statistics, 50% part passes the inspection and 50% needs further rework. So our first task would be model the system in ARENA and run it for 60 minutes. So we'll go ahead and open our previously created model. Stop the run end. So this is the model that we created in our first process. I'll zoom out a little bit. And then, so what happening here is, what's happening here is part is getting created, getting drilled and leaving the system. But now after getting drilled, an inspection process will go. So let's just take this connector off from here. Let's just put this dispose module here and let's just get a process module from our basic process panel. Okay, connect the output of the drilling process with this input of the new process and output of this process with the dispose module. All right. So let's go ahead and edit this module. So let's just name this uh, process as inspection process. Type is standard, action is still sees delay release and resource we have to add. So we are adding a resource called inspector. Make sure you give unique names to your resources based on the scenario. Don't just re leave the default name like resource one, resource two, because you'll get confused when we'll have bigger models. And this will be still one because each part is being inspected by just one inspector, so it's just one. Next, over here, we are gonna change the delay type. It's So the delay time or the processing time is uniformly distributed between one to 1.5 minutes. Okay. So in delay type, if we click the drop down menu, we'll see that there is a function called uniform. So select that, unit will be in minutes, and minimum is one and maximum is 1.5 minutes. All right, let's click OK. So what happening here is part is getting created, getting drilled, then passing through inspection process and leaving the system. However, based on the recent statistics, it says that 50% of the parts passing through the inspection would pass this inspection process and 50% would need further rework. All right. It doesn't specify that rework will be done in this drilling process or not. All right, how to include that? Let's just take this connection between process, inspection process and dispose module. All right, and we'll get a decide module here instead. Let me just place it. Let me just drag in, drag this module here. Okay. Somehow my connection got uh, wiped off. So drilling process would be connected to inspection process and inspection process will be connected to this decide module. And after this, this decide module will be connected to part dispose. Let's just put this one here. Okay. So what does this model uh, module doing for us? Let's just go ahead and click decide. Let's just name it decide part quality. Type two way by chance. So we have only two options. Either the part passes the quality of quality inspection or it fails. However, sometimes based on certain condition, 
we split entities into different routes. We'll do that later. But if we had more than two options, let's say some of them will be getting scrapped, some of them will get salvaged, some of them are good to go, then we should have selected n way by chance instead of two way by chance. So right now we just have two ways for how entity should flow and it's 50%. So if it was like 60, we should have put here 60. If it's 50, 30, we should have put here 30. So I'm just selecting 50. Click OK. So over here, it says that 50% of the part will pass the process and then it will get disposed to part leaves the system. So over here, we can see true end and false end. That means 50% of this incoming part will come here and flow out of this module. The other 50% will be getting moved to another area for rework. So for that reason, we'll just grab a new dispose module and connect it with the false end. Let's just make this module name to be parts sent for rework. All right. So we have two dispose module. Let's go ahead and save this model as. Let's go to file. Let's go to save as, and we'll save this model as module two. And the Scenario asks us to run it for 60 minutes. So how to do that? I'll go to run and then I'll go to setup. And over here, I'm directed to the project parameter. So we'll just title this as simple drilling process with decide. Analyst arena learners. And then we'll go to, um, and we'll be checking only entity, resource, and queues statistics. Let, next, we have to go to replication parameter, and the replication length should be 60 minutes. That's what we are specifying here. Base time unit should be in minutes, and number of run is one. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's save it one more time, and then let's run the model. OK. And let's see, so in total, 13 parts were created in 60 minutes. So at the time when the clock hit 60 minutes, one part was still getting processed. And then one part was getting inspected. And over here, so 13 minus two is 11, right? So out of those 11 parts that passed these two processes, Five of them went as good parts and left the system, and six of them went out to the rework station. So before even hitting this yes, we are getting some ideas about our system. All right, let's go ahead and click yes. Okay, we'll get this stat over here. Let's go back to our Word file and see what kind of report we need to present. So the first one asks for the total number of drilled part sent to rework. Okay. So let's go to entity in other number of part. So in total, there were 11 part that, were, that went out of the system. However, it specifically wanted to know the number of total drilled part that were sent to rework. So if we minimize it, if we minimize our report, maximize this part, we'll see that six of the total part went for rework. We can use other modules like uh, record and um, record module, recording the number of counts and stuff. But even with the simple interface, we can see the number of part that were sent to rework. So we'll just report it to be six, six parts. Instantaneous utilization for of the inspection process. Okay, let's go to category by replication again. Okay, and over here we will go to resource because we are reporting a resource statistics. So the question asks us to report the instantaneous utilization of the inspector which is 
24.23 or 24.23 percent. 24.23 percent or 0 0.2423. Average waiting time of the drilled part in the inspection queue. Something related to queue. So we'll go to queue. Average waiting time of the drill part. So we can see over here it's zero. That means not on average none of the part waited in the queue. So it was such that even minimum and max is also zero. That means none of the part waited in the inspection queue. It got drilled and straight away it went to inspection and then it left the system. So we'll just put over here, zero. So don't freak out if the stat is zero, just put a zero here. It doesn't need to be a number. That's how the system is working. All right, so that concludes, uh, and I'll just put zero minutes. So that concludes our um, tutorial this time. Next time we'll be including more logics to our simple, drilling press process and hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you.